Hi there, I imagine you're watching this because you're thinking about doing a little glider conversion. I've done three now. I'll put some links here, in fact, or, or on the end screen. But anyway, one of the first steps you need to do, if you're doing an RC conversion, you don't really want to build it as a glider, is just to take out the dihedral from the wing. Now, there are a couple of ways of doing this. Some people use a wet cloth and a hot iron. Apply that and do a bit of bending. In fact, it's very useful to do an overbend because it tends to straighten up. So in other words, put a pencil underneath and, and overbend it. I've just got a couple of weights here. Wait a minute. Keep that end down and overbend it. Of course, it's foam, so it doesn't actually want to absorb heat. Method I've used in the past, which actually I think is more successful, is pour some boiling water along the bend, like so. Straighten it up and run and run it under cold water. And as I say before, an overbend is useful because it kind of tends to spring back. So I think this works better. Just look at that, straight in, done. A little bit more maybe. See, it's tending to actually come back up now. But I'll give it a bit more. Like so, give it more overbend. Give it plenty of cold water on it. Next step is to lay it down again with a pencil under the bend. A couple of lead weights. And if you apply them in the right place, it kind of helps to take the twist out of it like so. And I think that works better than the iron and the damp cloth method. Let's do the other side. And I can tell you it's mighty awkward doing this with a camera stuck in front of me. But anyway, try and get the water along the join, like so. Obviously the thickest part is going to be the hardest part to bend. Nice slow trickle, actually. I think I did it too fast the first time. Straighten up a bit. Get the cold water going. Get in there. I'll give it a bit more cooling this time. And as you can see, I'm overbending. But in my little experience of only three builds, as I said, I've built two singles and one twin. And I'll link them at the end. The twin is an absolutely great looking plane, flies brilliantly. First one I put too big, on it, too big a motor on it, but let's see how that's looking. Yeah, just look at that, look. Just one go, look. And that is just about perfect. And if it's not quite right, you can always just pinch and bend a bit. Give it a bit of a squeeze, that tends to take the shape out of it. But that is pretty much That's pretty straight anyway, taking most of it out. And if you leave it overnight with a couple of diver's weights on, then that helps to take out some of the bumps and so on. But I hope you found that helpful. I've built three of these things, two single engines, one twin, which is an absolutely beautiful looking plane and flies well. The first one I put way too big a motor on it, but the build blogs are here. 
and the maidens and so on so and don't forget to hit subscribe if you found it useful but that's it for now thanks for watching and i'll catch you again soon